Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through some of the shipping options in WooCommerce. The first shipping options we're going to go through will help you configure more of the higher level shipping options before we go and drill down into the more individual options that are available a little bit later on. The first things that we need to do are configure the shipping calculations. The first will turn on by default which is to enable shipping which is obviously a good thing if you have physical goods that you need to send out and to enable the shipping calculator on the card page. However, you can choose to hide shipping costs until an address is entered if you would like, uh, which can be a good thing because in some instances it may not be completely accurate until someone has actually entered their address. Then we just choose the shipping display mode. The default is with radio buttons, which are the style of buttons that you can see here. Alternatively, you can choose to have a drop down if you'd like. Next, you can choose how the shipping destination is handled. You can choose to ship to the billing address by default. That means if the person doesn't have a separate address for delivery, it'll automatically go to that one. And you can also force it so that it will only ship to the user's billing address. Next, we can choose what countries that you'd like to ship to. We've previously configured uh, what countries we want to sell to, so we can just leave it as that, which is good. Alternatively, you can change it to ship to all countries or ship to specific countries only. If you are to choose that, then you get this little handy box here where you can just type in the countries that you'd like. Finally, we come down to the shipping and methods area. This is pretty similar to what you would have seen if you've gone through some of the payment options. Uh, you can choose a default if you'd like, just like that. And then you can drag this up and down to dictate the order that those options will be presented to, uh, to the buyer. From here, you can go through and configure each of those settings, but you'll also notice that there's a status icon here just to say that at the moment free shipping is enabled and it does not appear that the rest are. We'll get to that in a little bit though, uh, but for now what you need to do is hit save changes to just lock in anything that you've done. And that's it, that's the end of this video, uh, just going through some of the high level shipping option settings that we have here. In a moment we're going to go through uh, local delivery, flat rate and so on. So if you have any questions about this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe for more.